says here we should work in teams. I tend to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. You're about to enter information overload, a worldwide transmission with Herp Herp Parade's featured Breeder of the Week. Here's your host, Jason Ross. Welcome back to Herp Herp Parade, a weekly worldwide transmission. I'm your host, Jason Rossi. We are simulcasting on RossiReptiles.com, Buzzsprout, and don't forget to subscribe and download us on iTunes. This week's Featured Breeder of the Week is a very important person to the reptile industry. He has brought you exclusive videos from one of the most elusive breeders in the business. He is also no slouch on his breeding projects either. We are here to get the latest from the man, the myth, Rafi Martinez from MyBalls.net. Rafi, welcome to Herper Parade. Thank you, Red. That's, <laughs> that's a heck of an intro right there, man. Thank you. I appreciate all that. Yes, sir. I try to do my best for everybody that comes on here, you know? That's what it's about. All, all right, right, so... Right. If you're... All right, so everybody wants to know what's in the magpie. I know we can't disclose that information. I just... Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, know we can, I know we can't talk about it, but uh, can we at least divulge how many genes are at play, <laughs> this animal? That's, that's pretty great. We, we've never had any phone conversations in the past, uh, you and I, and... Uh, and so I sent you a message, just, you know, when we when we said that we would do this. And the one thing I said was just, please don't ask me what's in the magpie. <laughs> I didn't ask what's in the magpie. Yeah. Um, the magpie is, uh, you know, the thing with that snake is it, it's, it's very special to me in particular. The reason why is that snake came out, and, and it was the first snake that Kevin let me name. I've named a whole bunch of his stuff after that, and now it's like, yeah, whatever. But that was the first snake that I said, you know, that reminds me of when I first saw it. Um, it reminds me of um, the VPI Magpie Blood Python, which is my favorite blood python, by none, hands down. I mean, I love that thing. I hope that someday I can I can buy one of those. And uh, when it came out of the egg, I'm like, wow, it looks just like it. So I'm like, you know what? It's got to be called a Magpie Ball. And he looked at it and he's like, are you sure? I'm like, dude, look at it. It looks just like it. So um, so we went with that. But um, how many genes are in the magpie? Let me think. I can tell you if I think about it for a second. I think it's actually only, I think it's only four. It's either three or four um, that it has. So it's not, you know, here's the thing, and you got to remember this, and, and I know it applies to Kevin for sure, 100%, and I think it applies to most of the other big breeders that, that make, you know, the really stuff, cool stuff that makes it so drool. Uh, not that they only do, but when they do, the the more secretive they are about a project, the simpler it is. You know, they don't want to give you the ingredients of something that's like, you know, two or three genes because that means that by next year, everybody can do it. You know, when he does something like, uh, let's see what's a lot more complex than, uh, than two or three genes, like that new Orion, the Orion ball, for example. We could sit here and no. tell people, I can tell you what the ingredients are in that, but I can't because he doesn't want to. Yes, yeah, but if I, if I could and I told you it, I can assure you that next year there still will be Orion balls uh, in other collections. It's just not, it's, it's a pretty, I mean, just the odds of making this stinking thing are, are ridiculous. So it wouldn't happen. But the, the magpie is uh, it's amazingly simple, actually. Um, but it's still, still my favorite. I hope, you know, that, uh, that we can, you know, he can actually release that maybe this year or maybe next year and, and people can run with that because that is a very cool snake for sure. A mean little one, but but uh, a mean snake. Her, her and her her sister, Clutchmate. God, they're the meanest snakes on earth. But uh, but they're definitely really cool. I guess their feeding responses are on target then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, they're, they're 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 getting pretty big. All right. So, how did you get access to Kevin McCurley? I mean, was it as simple as putting ideas into action? Or was there a bit of lay work involved? It, it was a weird thing. I, I had met, before I started doing, like, the pictures and then the videos and whatever, I had met Kevin once prior to that, only once, and I not really met him. I saw him, shook his hand, that was it. I drive about an hour and a half from my home uh, over to Nerd when I do these things, and uh, which I do now every Wednesday to go visit him and see what's new and and maybe get some footage and whatnot and hang out. But um, I would drive out there sometimes to get, you know, frozen rats and whatnot for my, my very small collection. At the time I had, like, you know, 
there's a couple of snakes and whatnot. And uh, so I would just drive out there for that and just to see, see if I can get a glimpse of anything, you know. You can't just walk into to a nerd. He has a, a big facility and there's two, two floors, and downstairs is a regular pet store, and then upstairs is, is actually nerds. So the pet store is called uh, Zoo Creatures, and they have some stuff there that you can see, but nothing, you know, nothing too crazy really. But um, I would go there just hoping that, you know, I could sneak a peek upstairs real quick. And and, uh, and just one day I went, and uh, the first time I met him, I went to pick up some rats. And when I was checking out, I, he walked by me real quick, and I looked at the, the girl that was cashing me out, and I said, is that him? Literally, those were immersed. I'm like, is that him? Like it was some sort of, you know, like some sort of superstar or something. I was, you know, I, I read his book a ton of times, and I was very – fascinated with the stuff that he'd done before I met him. And uh, she's like, yeah. So I, I went outside, and I'm like, hey, Kevin. And uh, he turned around, and he hates uh, attention, like that kind of attention. He can't stand it. So he gets all nervous and, and weird and stuff. And all I wanted was uh, so I had him come back in, and I took a picture of him real quick, and, and he literally took the picture and disappeared. And I didn't see him for uh, like at least two or three years after that. Um, and then what happened with this video and, and picture thing was that uh, I went to his facility a few years ago, and uh, and I paid like everybody else and did the tour. They do these tours uh, of the uh, of Nerd upstairs. You can go on on Saturday or Sunday, and and you pay, and this is a group thing, and they show you some stuff. And you're not going to see things, you know, like uh, like Orion or anything like that. But you still get to see a lot of really really neat stuff. So I did that. And, uh, and I, I brought my camera with me, and I took some pictures, and, and you know, it's a ton of people. There's got to be at least, you know, 30, 40 people in this group, and we're trying to, you know, push each other out of the way, trying to fit in this hall and in the rooms and, and see things. So when we were done, I asked the guy that was doing the tour if it was okay for me to do a private tour, that I would pay, you know, whatever it is they needed me, needed me to pay, and I would do a, a private tour just so I can take some pictures of the animals comfortably. And, so he had to go ask the man that you I'm assuming he asked Andy um, at that point and, uh, and came back and said, yeah, he said, that's fine. So we set up a day, and I went back there and uh, literally just, like, you know, went in and took some pictures of snakes, and that was it. No asking what's this, what's that. I just wanted to take some pictures. So those pictures ended up, I ended up posting them on, uh, on uh, Bush League, on BLBC, which is my favorite forum by a ton. And... Uh, so I went on there and, uh, and posted the pictures, you know, and, uh, and obviously I didn't take credit for anything. I said, you know, I went to Nerd. I think it was called like, First Visit to Nerd or something like that. I'm sure you, people could find us. They looked that up because that's the, one of the best things about Bush League. They don't delete anything. You said it, you own it. Um, and so I posted those on there, and, uh, and they got an amazing response because Kevin rarely posted anything. I mean, he would post like one half picture and then disappear for months and things like that. And so I went and put, I mean, it was just a ton of pictures. And, you know, it was just viewed by thousands. I mean, the thing was a hit. So I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And I called Nerd again, and, uh, and I asked again if I could go back and do more. And, and they said, yeah, sure, why not? And the second time I went, um, Kevin was there. And so he, so then I, I was actually able to officially meet him, and, and so I told him, like, listen, man, I took these pictures, and people are responding amazingly to it. You should go on this forum and see what people are saying. He thought everybody basically had forgotten about him. He had been gone, you know, not gone, obviously, but kind of in hiding for a couple of years prior to that. And uh, and there was just like, you know, he wasn't making any noise in the in the ballpark on the community, so. I'm like, you gotta go on here and see what what people are saying about this. So he went on the uh, on the on the forum and saw, you know, that people were going nuts about the stuff. So he's like, oh man, that's pretty cool. So I did it again, did a bunch of pictures, and this time he was pulling out the stuff that he wanted me to show. So it was a lot better because he was showing what he wanted people to see at that point. So after we did the second one, um, I posted the same thing. People were going nuts. I went back and talked to Kevin, and I said, listen, man. Would it be cool if we did a video? And he looked at me, he's like, oh, what? I'm like, just, you know, a video. I'll do a quick video. I'll put it on my YouTube channel, and, you know, that way people can see and hear you explain stuff. 